Hey guys, Chris with Nichols Retirement Empire and I am doing a challenge from Ron from Out and About Outdoors. He has sent me some kind of outdoor challenge um, from I think it's Double O Outdoors and I'm supposed to answer three questions. Uh, so I'm going to do that while I'm making, I'm making some spaghetti sauce or some tomato sauce here. Uh, so I'll kill two birds with one stone. Um, I've got a pound of ground beef that I've already browned and drained in here. Uh, this is a excellent sauce. It's really good. I put 28 ounces of crushed tomatoes in there. And usually we would cut up a bunch of like Roma tomatoes or something that we've grown. Um, but it's the winter, so I don't have any tomatoes. So I'm just going to put some diced tomatoes in there with it. Uh, but anyway, the first question, the first question, and this all has to do with like hunting and fishing and stuff like that. Uh, what kind of activities do I like to do outside that are not hunting or fishing or trapping? Well, I don't do any trapping. <laughs> I, know, I know I live in the South uh, and all that, but uh, I'm not doing any trapping. Um, so he wanted to know what kind of outdoor activities I did um, diced tomatoes, a can of diced tomatoes, instead of the regular tomatoes. Probably the one that I enjoy most, believe it or not, is cutting grass. I love to cut grass. I like to do anything outside. You know, I like cutting grass and gardening. I, I like to hike. I like to walk uh, on the Silver Comet Trail is close to here, so I do that a lot. So uh, any of those I'm happy with, um, but especially cutting grass. Something about cutting grass and then seeing when you get done, like it's... You, you know, I don't know. I just like it. It's cool. Uh, so that would be my favorite one. Um, all right. Now I'm supposed to add a teaspoon of salt and pepper. Okay. Let's do that. Teaspoon of salt. Teaspoon of pepper. Uh, oh, a chopped onion. All right, the second question was what kind of activities uh, that we like to do outside or that I like to do outside with my family. Uh, that was easy, uh, fishing. Now, my kids will not go fishing. When they were little, I took them fishing, um, but they didn't like it, and really, they were, um, they actually were pretty good at it. <laughs> That's what's so crazy about it, is they were actually really good at fishing. May was really good at fishing. Um, Amy would do good when she would fish. Uh, and I would make sure that I would take them where we could catch fish. Like, I wouldn't take them out there when there wasn't anything. You know, I would take them and, and have them catch fish when they were biting and I even had them catch bass and all kind of, you know, I mean, whatever, all kind of fish. And it really didn't matter uh, what we caught. They didn't care. They are not uh, fisherwomen. They don't care anything about it. Now, my wife, on the other hand, she loves to fish. Um, and when we were dating, um, soon as I took her out fishing, me and her together, and I found out that she wasn't just gonna go out there and read a book on the back of the boat. She was actually gonna fish. That was all I needed to know. So me and her fish all the time, um, all the time. So uh, definitely fishing, favorite outdoor activity for the family. Yeah, Ron from out and about outdoors I just have to tell you now I was never able to hunt I never even tried and you might say well I mean you love fishing I, I mean I couldn't hunt because I spent so much money fishing and so much time fishing that I, if I had started hunting too I would have I mean I didn't get married till I was 34 years old I, I didn't see anything but the school and the lake and the road that's all I saw. I fished every weekend. I fished every day. 
in the summer when I was off, if I was off. Um, I fished, I kept journals of fishing, I fished in tournaments, I fished like crazy bass fish. I mean, I was a bass fishing fool. Um, anyway, if uh, the way I am with things, I could not have hunted. There's no way I could hunt and fish. There's not that much money on the planet <laughs> for me. I had a matching boat and truck. I was that guy, the matching boat. We've always had boats. My, my dad, from the time I was a little kid, we have always had boats. I've always had a boat. Uh, it, it, once I, as soon as I got out of college, first thing, first purchase, boat. So, I am a fishing fool. My family fishes, everybody fishes. Okay, ground beef, salt and pepper, 28 ounces of crushed tomatoes, and a can of diced tomatoes, or four fresh tomatoes, preferably. Uh, but anyway, the third question, I finally remembered what it was, and oh, diced medium onion. Uh, the third question was, um, what are some indoor activities that you like to do that pertain to outdoor activities? I like, to use Google Maps, like if we're looking for a place where we're gonna fish or something like that, I like to be able to use Google Maps and, um, cause what's really cool about that is you can really familiarize yourself with an area. You can find all kind of new places to launch, all kind of new places to fish, uh, places you can fish from the shore if you wanna fish from the shore. Um, Google Maps is a great tool uh, that we use, and I love to do that. Look at Google. All I got to do at this point is let this stuff simmer. But another indoor activity that we like to do is watch YouTube videos. What's really great about YouTube is you can watch, if you just want to know about fishing in Pensacola, which is, you know, where we have a trailer, then all I have to do is watch videos about Pensacola, and they're going to be, you're going to see places that they fish that you can fish, you can familiarize yourself it's with. It's kind of like the fishing report now you know, where you used to look in the paper or you used to look in a magazine. Now you look on YouTube, you get the fishing report. Uh, so those are the three questions that I got. Uh, Ron on Out and About Outdoors is a great channel. If you like fishing, now if you don't like fishing and hunting, this is not your, it's not your channel. He does go out and do some things um, with his wife. They've gone to some fairs, like they went to a, a, a um, FFA state fair thing here a few weeks ago and they've gone to some craft things and stuff like that and He shows that those are some great videos if you're interested in stuff besides fishing But now he is a fisherman. He loves to get out there and it doesn't matter You know what kind of fish he's catching. He wants to catch something. He just likes to catch fish um, Now that's a good channel to watch. Thanks for uh, tagging me Ron the Armadillo Junction uh, would be somebody I would tag uh, he does a lot of outdoor stuff, uh, fishing. I know he's a fisherman, uh, so that would be one that I would tell. Uh, Mr. Armadillo Junction R R G. I'm gonna tag you. Um, three questions. What is your favorite fish to catch, and why? Um, if you could live anywhere in the United States and fish. Where would it be? Where would you like to live to fish? Anywhere, you can live anywhere you want. Unlimited budget. And my third question would be, how long and how long have you been fishing and why did you get into fishing? Armadillo Junction. Forgot to put my sugar in there. Sugar. I need to taste this, see if it tastes all right. Uh, my other channel, let's say Pure Living for Outdoors. You may have done this challenge, you may not have. I don't know. I don't know Double O Outdoors. I've not watched them. And I don't know if they, I guess they started the challenge or I don't know if they just tagged Ron from Out and About Outdoors. Pure Living for Outdoors, another channel. He is out of um, Armadillo Junctions in Texas. Uh, and, and Pure Living for Outdoors is in Oklahoma. Uh, he does all kind of stuff. He does duck hunting. He does fishing um, <clears throat> Gardening he does all kind of stuff on his channel got some kids and um, You know young guy gets out there. He's got all kind of energy not like me and RG. We don't have we're kind of low energy. We're more low, low energy 
Uh, so I will challenge Pure Living for Outdoors too to answer the questions. And um, I'm going to taste this sauce in a minute, let you know how that turns out. Does it say what you put these on? Uh, I think it says 425. Add your garlic at the end. I'm going to have to cut these separate. 